Welcome. Let us know who's here and where you're watching from. Uh, this is something we're trying new. We've been doing some video tutorials on Facebook and we thought rather than giving you a lot of stuff, we would try a design coffee break, just a kind of a bite size, just you know, th three quick tips uh, in the amount of time that it takes you to drink a cup of coffee. So I hope you've got your coffee ready. Um, I have my, my ostrich mug. I've got my coffee. We're gonna have our coffee break together. Anyway, today what we're gonna do is I am gonna show you three best practices, three, three tips on how to use Poster My Wall Design Browser, um, all related to motion and animation, because as we all know, that is one of the very best and easiest ways to draw attention to yourself online. I'm gonna show you how to bring any template to life by giving it a video background, how to animate any design, and then how to set the thumbnail for your design your, the thumbnail in your um, Facebook for your video or in Instagram. And then after that, um, I, I'm willing to stay after a few minutes. If you have something else that we weren't going to planning to cover when I'm done, if you have a request for something you'd like demoed, we can do that too. So I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia. Susie's running the tech today from uh, San Francisco Bay Area. Yay, Susie. So Susie, who's with us today? Well, we've got about 100 people watching Ooh. us right now. Uh, we haven't had anybody, I know, exciting. We haven't had anyone give us a, a location, but I did just ask everybody what they're working on. So we might get a little bit of feedback awesome. on that as well. All right. Oh, well, Andre, hi, Ashley, Marcus. Thank you guys for dropping a note into the comments. And all right. Chris from Mexico, rock and roll. All right, good to see everybody. So we're going to start with how to bring any design to life by adding video to your template. And um, this is just something really easy you can do. I mean, if there's a photo in the background or a solid color or nothing, regardless, you can add a video. Uh, so today I'm going to look under the church templates and just find something really simple here. Where did it go? And of course, the one I want to, there it is, it moved. Okay, so say you were having an event and you wanted to jazz up your template a little bit. Basically all you need to do, and you can see this already has a video in here, but that's okay. You can add up to four different videos on your poster, my wall or four different animations. So you could have you know, this video, a background video, intro animation um, and animated copy. You could have all four of those things and, and it would run and it would look fabulous. One of the nicest things here is the opacity up here on the edit menu. You can, can see if you have the video back there, you can, you know, if you want your copy to read it better, you can fade it back. Good thing to know. Also filters, if um, you may want to play around with, you know, black and white for your video so that you're, you know, so that it's there, but it's not overtaking your copy and your message in the front. Um, and then the other thing here is tint and multiply are worth playing with. Tint, it just gives it, see, we don't want black, but you, you just pick a color and, and it, you can see that you get, you know, just a little bit of a color tint over there. And what multiply will do is take a color and make it stronger. So if you're playing with video backgrounds, you know, do play around with those settings. You'll be able to get some really fun effects. All right, so then once you have your video, all you have to do is download. So next we were gonna go on to how to animate any design. This time we're gonna do a fundraiser. Fundraising. And I'm gonna limit it. I want, a, I want an Instagram post square. So I'm gonna, and it's just not the fundraising. Come on. I am looking for a square breast cancer template here. There we go. All right, so you can see this is this is a nice template, right? But there is no animation, no motion. So the, this is so cool. The intro animation, that's all you have to do is come over here in the top right where it says intro animation and it says none. You know, click off the design so you get the design menu. 
And you can see block is a really cool one and you can see it comes in in pieces. You can also adjust the speed so we can make it slower. And there's a bunch of, there's about a dozen different options here. And so if you do these, you take basically any, any template and the pieces just come in, it's all automatic. Um, and so you've instantly made your template just a little bit more interesting. So next we're gonna move on to thumbnails. Now, what are thumbnails and why do you need them? So first of all, okay, so this is a YouTube page and basically the thumbnails are these little, you know, these, 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 these still images. They're not, that shouldn't be moving. See, when I touch them, they move. But anyway, the still images that are sort of the cover photo for the video. Um, in Poster My Wall, your designs are going to default to your first frame of your video as your, as your thumbnail, which may or may not be what you want to show if you post on, on your Facebook feed or on your Instagram feed. So I will show you an example. You can see like this is a great template. And you can see, you know, it's really adorable and it's got these kids waving and the school bus. Um, but if you had click click on the video, and you look at the frames, you can see that if you put that as a social media post, um, you would want the thumbnail to be one of the images that has the bus and the kids, right? The, the first image is just this, the blue background and that's not what you would want. Um, now, what you can do is you can use this, you can trim your images in Foster My Wall to change the thumbnail, but you can only change, you know, from the front going inward. So if you wanted, you know, the still you're gonna have the bus and not the kids. So. So you would need to set your thumbnail another way. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Uh, the other thing that's really important, the reason it's important to know this is because I just showed you the intro animation and I just want to show you, this was my Instagram feed before I knew about the thumbnails. Um, I did intro animation with a white background and you can see this, just this white square in the middle. No. so you can see it's a, it's a, you know it's an image and it's got some animated copy but when people are scrolling through my feed now it's scroll when they scroll through their feed they would get the animation the way they should but because I did not properly set the thumbnail when they are looking at my feed all they see is a white box and that's not what you want so I'm going to show you how to fix that um, now in Facebook I didn't open I'm sorry I didn't open the Facebook window let me do that really quickly Right, so we just need to get, now you can do this not on your personal pages, but on the pages that you manage. So, so if I were on Poster My Walls page and I were gonna create a post, I would click create a post. And you know, obviously you put in your, you know, your caption and your title and everything else. And then you click to add your photo or your video. So I've got our, I output earlier, the breast cancer awareness template. Okay, and so you can see that this comes up. Okay, so, so it set the thumbnail, um, but you can see at first it came up with just that purple background or maroon background, and then it came to the thumbnail. If you click on thumbnail, you can see it gives you choices um, and you can scroll through and you can pick what you want. As you can see the earlier ones, it does not, you know, it just has the copy sliding in. So you would wanna pick something further down as your thumbnail. And then you just create your post the same way as always. On Instagram, it's a little trickier now because I cannot post an Instagram post from my computer. I made a PowerPoint for you. So again, this is that same breast cancer with the uh, intro animation that I created. So you click the plus icon, of course, to tell it that you're going to make a new post. And then you go and you, you know, you see that video that you want to do and it's you know, just showing up as a square and you click on that, click next, all right? And then on the next settings, you've got filter, trim and cover down here on the bottom right and cover is where you're gonna set that thumbnail. So you're gonna click on cover and you're gonna see here that you've got the first slide, which is not what you want for your cover. So you'll, let's click further on and there, You'd see it would come up and so you would be setting your thumbnail uh, so that where people are scrolling through quickly they see the whole image but if they're scrolling through slowly you're going to get that animation which is very cool 
And then of course you click next and you post as normal. So what you'll have is your thumbnail will be your whole thing, but when they're scrolling through, you're gonna get that awesome, awesome animation. All right. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. And so that's it for our design coffee break. I hope you guys have learned some useful stuff today. If you have any questions, um, stick them in the chat. We will look. We're looking for suggestions for future classes too. So if you have a something, a design feature or a tool that you would like us to show you how to use, you can put it in the in the comments or you could email us at help at postermywall.com. Uh, we also have a promo code today, tips30. So if you use that code, code you can get 30% off if you are a brand new premium or premium plus subscriber or if you're um, if you're upgrading an existing poster my wall subscription you can apply that too. Our next free class is going to be on March 24th at 12:30 p.m. It's going to be called Create an Irresistible Social Media Presence and we're going to have a guest, special guest Kim George who is the founder of yourchicgeek.com. Um, Kim is an expert and she's going to share the secrets of creating a social media presence that will make your customers fall head over heels in love with you. Um, in 30 minutes time, she's going to share tips, best practices, and show you example of some examples of social media feeds that have been done right. Um, you'll learn how to design on brand graphics, write a captivating bio, and create highly engaging content. So that again is March 24th at 1230 Eastern. Um, until that, well, Susie, do we have any questions before I sign off? So no questions, but if I can, um, Chris called out how much he liked the thumbnail uh, tool. Okay. So thank you for that, Chris. I got to okay. say that showing us how to do something better on Facebook, on Facebook, pretty meta, and I like that. Um, and then I want to give a shout out to Geraldine, who dropped a comment saying that using Poster My Wall helped her to reopen after the lockdown, and that is Yay. That's so great to hear. Well, congratulations, so Geraldine. Geraldine. Yeah, if you wanna share some of the things that you um, were able to use that were helpful to you, we would love to see them. So thanks again for sharing that. Yeah, congratulations on reopening. That is, that is huge, and we're really, really excited you. for you. All right, well, thank you, everybody. Um, you know, do send comments if there's other things you'd like us to show you how to do. And until next time, thank you from Susie and I both and everybody have a great day.